This is Kathy from Gadgets Top 321, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the Machine Era markup to the Machine Era field pen twist. Uh, and I'm going to take a look at some writing samples on three different qualities of paper. Now, the Machine Era markup is has a threaded cap, and you can write with it unposted and unposted, let's see, the center of gravity is just right there, right at the bottom of the clip, and I love that. I love it when the pen just rests right there. This is a stainless steel pen with a diamond light coating, DLC coating, so it's got some nice weight to it. And there are threads on the back, like the Caveco Lily Put, that when you thread the cap on, it's a odd looking little pen when you do that. That moves the center of gravity up just the slightest bit, but uh, that extra weight that it adds just it makes this a nice feeling pen. It's got a pretty narrow section. It's about like a, a regular ballpoint pen, but this uses a Pilot G2 gel refill. Now the Field Pen Twist uses Parker style refills and the center of gravity is right here just above the seam. And again, this is a, also a stainless steel pen with a DLC coating, so it, it also has some nice heft. Now, the section, the grip section, is a bit wider because it doesn't have to accommodate a cap. And when you compare these two, the field pen twist is a bit shorter. Um, the clips on both of these are pretty thin and flimsy. That's one of the only criticisms I've heard about these pens, but I mainly just use these, the clip, as a roll stop. This one I use as a pocket pen in like jeans pocket, and this one, um, I just got it, so... I'm probably not going to carry this one in a jeans pocket because it has a gel refill in it right now. But when I get done with this refill, I'll probably use a, a ballpoint refill. All right. Now, I, I've got three different qualities of paper here. First, I've got mol a moleskin. Now, I've had varying uh, degrees of success with moleskin paper. Like, I've got a, a few of the little thin Cahiers that uh, the paper is top-notch, second to none, tolerates all my fountain pen ink, but this little classic notebook has poor quality paper. And I did a writing sample with both. The Machine Era markup actually came with two different refills. It came with a Schmidt Fine Liner and a Pilot G2. I haven't really used the Schmidt for everyday writing because it's a really wet, broad writer, but um, I'm a big fan of Pilot G2s. And you can see both of these use a .7 refill. The Field Pen Twist came with only one refill, the Atoya gel refill. You can see it's a little bit wetter, and I could tell when I was writing the ink was a little bit uh, not as viscous. And so, on poor quality paper, I usually have pretty good luck with Pilot G2s because the ink is thick enough that it doesn't just run through the paper. And you can see there's some show through on the G2, but on the Atoya refill that comes in the Field Pen Twist, you have some dots of bleed through. Now, on my little Rhodia pad, I, I liked the way both of these felt on the Rhodia. Even though the field pen twist is a, a bit wetter, it actually, this is just me drawing an X and wiping it. It soaks into the paper pretty quickly, and just the writing experience was nice and enjoyable. Um, there's some show through, but neither one bled through. So both of these work well on Rhodia paper. I'm gonna leave that one open. But on Hobonichi's, I found that, uh, and really any Tomoe River paper, whether it's the Hobonichi Techo or the Hobonichi Weeks, the um, Jibun Techo, any of those Tomoe River paper, uh, gel pen just does not want to dry very quickly. And I'm gonna do 
a writing ex sample with each of these. And for quick notes, I usually just hold the cap, write my little quick note. Okay, and now the field pin twist. Okay, and I come back up here to the Pilot G2, and it still smears. Now, I'm going to do a quick writing sample with my Pilot Custom 74. It's got fountain pen ink in it. This is Diamine Earl Grey. Okay, and you see that's pretty wet. That's fountain pen ink. I go back up to the Atoya refill, still wet and smeary. I come back to my uh, fountain pen ink. It's a little bit wet down here, but uh, the top line is already dry. So I prefer fountain pen ink in my Tomoe River paper, uh, but for Rhodia, I really, Rhodia and any other poor quality paper, I like um, my gel pens. All right, was that all I was going to say about those two? Oh, I'm out of, I've used up all the paper in both of my old Hobonichis. So now, whenever I'm doing writing samples and I need Tomoe River paper, I'm going to be using all the, those note pages that were in the back of my uh, Hobonichi Weeks. I got the Mega last year, and I've used a lot of it for writing samples. And um, But now I still have that entire back section. So I will be using, uh, it's a more of an off-white cream-colored or ivory-colored paper for writing samples for a little while. All right, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.